to work out the Cartesian form, what we're going to do is we're going to give we're going to call this random point as x, y, z. If this random point is x, y, z, then the position vector r is just x, i cap, y, j cap, and z, k cap. You get that? So I can now substitute x, y, z over here. So I'm going to get x, z. Again, I'm, I'm writing the shorthand notation. And that's going to be equal to, how do I convert this into a vector equation? Well, I'll calculate what lambda is from this equation. Well, notice this equation should work independently for i cap, j cap, and k cap. So if I write this for i cap, j cap, and k cap, I can write the equation like this. x must be equal to 4 plus 2 lambda. Similarly, y equal to 3 plus 4 lambda. And finally, z, well, you ask, well, how do I convert this into a Cartesian form. Well, one way of writing the Cartesian form is like this. We're just going to say, look, my equation to the straight line is this. Any point that follows this rule is going to lie on my straight line. We actually call this as the parametric form. Okay, so that's one way to write down the equation. But I'm going to write the more general way now using x, y, z. And the trick is to calculate lambda. So from the first equation, lambda is just x minus 4 divided by 2. From the second equation, lambda is just y minus 3 divided by 4. And similarly, from the last equation, I get lambda equals z plus, sorry, z minus 7 divided by minus 2. And guess what? They're all equal to lambda, right? So they must be all equal to each other. Ta-da! That's how we write the Cartesian format for the straight line. So again, try and think about what this equation is saying. So this equation is of the form, that in general we can say the equation is of the form x minus x coordinate, so x coordinate of the point, divide by the direction ratio, divide by the, um, what do you say, uh, the x direction, huh? what do you call that? Uh, whatever. So L, let's say, okay, should be equal to y minus the y coordinate of a point on a straight line divided by m, and that should be equal to z minus z coordinate of a of a point that lies on a straight line divided by n, where L, M, N are the direction ratios of my straight line. So I've given you three ways of representing a straight line. The Cartesian form, the parametric form, and this is going to be useful. You know why? Because at times we'll want to calculate a, you know, at times we'll want to write a general, general point on a straight line. So this can also be thought of as a general point, okay? And we can also write down the vector equation. And now here's something that I want you to, here's my recommendation, a serious, honest recommendation. Don't remember any of this because you will see as we go forward, more and more formulae are going to come. And that's why I don't want you to think of this as a formula. You see, I directly took an example and I worked out from basics. And you know what I want you to do? Try and solve every single problem this way. Because in three dimension, things can become extremely nasty if you want to remember equations or equations. So it might take initially some time to get used to it and everything. It might be tempting to remember these equations, but don't. Okay, try to understand the meaning of this equation. I explained to you what this equation was, okay? So every time derive the equation and then solve it, okay? That's, that's my advice. So I will see you in future episodes. Stay tuned.